Good afternoon. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG, and today is the Antlered Crown on Nightmare Difficulty. This is not an especially difficult quest compared to some of the ones that will come in the next cycle. The next cycle being the Lost Realm, Ingmar Awakens. So this quest relies a lot around locations. The mechanic is locations with a time clock and the quest reduces the time clock on each of the locations in play when its time clock reaches zero. So we get started with a pretty innocuous enemy that I've relied on whenever I had to pull an enemy from the encounter deck during this cycle. In solo play it's not so bad. And a pretty decent start, though no Ether Swordsman. And I opt here for four long instead of the last, uh, second on Philos Herdsman. On Philos Herdsman is uh, the lowest of the Lowest priority of the four Outlands allies. Depending on the quest though, in some quests it can be pretty important. So we get a Nightmare Treachery here. Which is not too big a deal. But my questing power is so limited that I don't actually make any progress. And that's because I do not have any other swordsman or Faramir. Can be a, a pretty slow start when you don't have Faramir or any other swordsman. And you can take on some threat early. But there's Faramir and another Outlands ally, so hopefully I can clear out the accursed battlefield before its time clock gets down to zero. And if things go well, maybe I can get the other one as well. The location and the staging area, we'll see. Questing for 12. And it's Raven Warrior, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's enough to clear the location before the Doom Clock goes off, so that's great. Don't need to engage either of those right away. Hopefully get a little more questing power. There's questing power and defense, so that's great. Getting set up. And just enough resources to play everything. So hopefully you can clear out the war camp before that time clock goes off. On a quest for about 12 in order to make that happen. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and one more progress on phase 1. And that will do it. These locations don't have travel effect, so that's good. They just have the, the time clock mechanic. And I'm going to optionally engage one of the enemies here since I've got a bunch of characters with an action. Remove one time counter from a location or return attacking enemy to the staging area. Well, if I remove a counter from the location, its clock will go off. And the reason it will go off is because it will lose one counter at the end of the round and one more counter will be taken off because the phase one of the quest is going to reach zero at the end of the round, so I didn't want to send that enemy back to the staging area though, I wanted to take him out. So I have to assign X damage among characters I control where X is the number of cards in my hand. There aren't any, so no problem. And we can just continue getting set up. Uh, 
Oh, not a very good, very good tail there. Can use heed the dream. Probably just looking for an accelerator, maybe a one cost Outlands guy. Yeah, Errand Rider will do. Okay. Probably look to push through to phase two here. Maybe not though, with just one Ether Swordsman. So it's 5 to 14, that's going to be 9 progress, so yeah, not pushing through. Uh, we will move to that location, and I'll just go ahead and engage the enemy. I've got a lot of uh, extra you know, guys with combat power here. I've got two warriors of Lasser Nox, so we'll just go ahead and take them out while I can. It's always good to clear the staging area whenever you can. And there's Ether Swordsman and another warrior of Lasser Nox, so that's good. And definitely push through into phase two here now. Attach to the current quest, no problem, that's not going to do anything. And it's an enemy, remove one time counter from a location, or make an immediate attack. I'll take the immediate attack. X is the time value on the active location, that's one, so one damage. And no damage from the attack, so that's going to clear out the location and phase one of the quest. Phase 2, shuffle the Raven deck, discard pile into the Raven deck. And I realized that the enemy that I killed earlier, which came from the Raven deck, should have gone into the special Raven deck discard pile. So I've got to add the top card of the Raven deck to the staging area. And to get through phase two, 15 progress is needed. No problem, should be able to accomplish that next round. So easily take out these two enemies. Move on, 15 progress next round should be no problem. And there's another Knight of the Swan, the third one. And I don't know if I need to bother with very good tail here. But I will anyway. And there's the last at their swordsman and on Veloss Herdsman. Second on Veloss Herdsman. So just go ahead and quest for twenty or so, I think. That's twenty. So if that's gonna be the fifteen progress and we'll move on into phase three. Raven Chief, Raven Chief's camp into the staging area. Would have to include uh, added Raven card if there were more than, if there was more than one player. And the Raven Chief's camp I will need to move to. It needs to be cleared. I think before the Raven Chief can be damaged. Yeah, 
Raven Chief's camp has to be cleared before the Raven Chief can be damaged. Both enemies will engage. And it's going to remove one time counter from the location, which I'm not too worried about because I should be clearing it next round, no problem. So I can take out the additional enemy, but I can't deal any damage to the Raven Chief yet. So should be able to end the game this round before the Doom Clock on 3B or the Raven Chief's camp get the chance to go off. Just needs a pretty small amount of progress, relatively. Questing for 20. So that'll be 17 progress. Take care of the Raven Chief's camp. And then the Raven Warrior will engage, would remove time, a time counter if there was a location in play. And just need to deal with the two attacks. couple of shadow cards that get buffed for the time counter on the active location that there isn't one. So 14 progress here or 14 damage here and that will end the game. So not uh, not too difficult to quest to end out to round out this cycle. At least not compared to the ones in the next cycle, The Lost Realm and Angmar Awakened. It's an interesting mechanic in this one. The lack of travel cost on the locations makes them pretty easy to clear out. With a high willpower deck, the nightmare mode and the, well, the quest in general makes it hard to clear the locations out of the staging area. But when you clear them out the traditional way, when you're able to clear them out the traditional way, it helps quite a bit with the difficulty on this quest. So, thanks for watching.